applied. Now that we have both bands applied, now you can apply the side. You either have the screen facing away from you so you can clip it on your belt buckle, or you can turn it around and have it facing you so you can see the readout display on your own. Either way is fine. There's two different sides on there, but it doesn't matter which side's going to the left, which side's going to the right, it can interchange. That's not a big deal. Now that the bands are on, you want to connect the bands to the actual tubes. So I'm going to hand cycle to Steve here. We'll have it to where you can see what's going on here. Take the end clip from the Cat 2 cycle, and you take the end of the armband, and you want to push that down into there like that. You may have to twist it a little bit. You may even have to push that button to toggle that, to kind of wiggle it in there, but there is a nice rubber gasket that gets a nice seal. So you can pull on it slightly to see if that's in there. You may have to push the button, wiggle it to pull it out, but that's all you do. Put it in there, push down, wiggle it around, you hear it click, you know you're in there. There's a little piece of Velcro here. Attach that right to the armband so that stays out of the way, but it's not a big deal. You can let that hang freely. Now you gotta attach the other side. Right side, again, grab it onto here. Take that, push down on the button, wiggle it in there, and there you go. So now your armbands are connected to your Katsu Cycle 2.0. Let me ask this question. Corey. Yes, sir. You're showing me this, because I'm imagining me doing this by myself. Yes. First of all, and is there any problem with me hooking this up before I actually put the bands on? I'm glad you asked. I'll show you I mean, that. That makes, that makes I have sense a hard to me. Because, you know, it's really hard sometimes to reach around there using to push this together and everything. Well, that's great, but at the same time, it seems like it would be easier if I hook that up and then put it together. But, I'm glad you asked because that, that has been a problem for me. I don't have very good shoulder range of motion. Right. So, me trying to do that at a young 30 something is difficult. So I can only imagine for you, it may be a little bit tough as well. So we'll get to that next. Well, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> now, now that you have the bands on, you turn it on. Push the power button, you hold it down for about two to three seconds, and it'll turn it on. It'll say Katsu, and then the cycle will come on. From there, there's a G and a P. The G stands for group, the P stands for pro. The parameters and the pressures are in the manual, but it's very simple. G is for a little bit lower and P is for a little bit higher. On top of the cycle, you'll see a L, an M, and an H. High, a medium, and a low. Steve, this is his first time, so I'm gonna start at the lowest cycle possible. So we're gonna start with G and we're gonna do L. And so I feel it filling up, filling up. Feel it filling up, right? So that's normal. So what you can do is you can sit that in your lap. All right. Just place that down in your lap. And while this is going, you want to do your exercises. So all you're going to do is just nice, slow gripping motions. Okay. Spread your fingers out wide, squeeze it down, nice and easy, smooth gripping motion. Never right. Take a deep breath, relax a little bit. And as you feel your arms slightly engorge with blood, you can move your elbows too. So now you're going to add in some elbow curls, straighten and curl, straighten and curl. What this is doing is contracting your muscles and pushing blood through the veins. With the cycle, it's going to inflate for about 30 seconds and then it's going to deflate for five. And with each cycle, it's gradually going to get tighter and tighter. Now you see GL3. So this is the beginning of the third cycle in the group low. There's eight cycles. If at any point in time you feel uncomfortable, you just hit the red power button and it automatically cuts off. Okay. Now I see the numbers going up and down. Is that due to the pressure from my arms, or yes? It so it goes up and down in a range, and it starts like it. So that is that's the pressure that's being applied in through the air bladder. Right. Okay, and then 
towards the end of the cycle. That was the end of the third cycle. Now the fourth cycle starts. So if you relax and don't move, it should stay fairly constant. Right. But notice how when you contract the muscles in your arms, the pressure rises and right. then decreases. I see it. The cycle is built to try to stay at a certain pressure. So it's going to inflate and deflate while it aims for that certain pressure. I really feel the muscles in my bicep are getting a little like blowing up. Yeah. I feel them getting really kind of like pumped up without really doing much effort in terms of my board. So you say it goes through five cycles. It's going through eight. Eight. So the full cycle mode is eight rounds of 30 seconds inflated and five seconds deflated. Now remember, when it inflates, you're going to what's called the optimal pressure. Everyone's a little different where their optimal pressure is right. based on how much water you have drank, how hydrated you are. There's a lot of variables that can affect how tight your arms may feel. When now, do I do a continuous movement? Yes. Do nice. Five. Okay. That's the end of five, but I guess keep moving right off the Nice, way. slow cycle. Even the break of the cycle, just keep going. Yeah, you can relax. You can move your arms up and down if you want. You can slide your shoulder blades around, you can move your neck, you can move your head. You want to move. Your body is going to get the sensation where it wants to move. There's pressure in your limbs and your body wants to move. It wants to get things moving around in there. And that's the point and that's the concept of cat suit. It's helping promote blood flow in and out of your arms. It's not restricting anything. This is not blood flow restriction. This is helping to improve the blood flow throughout your body. This is weird because I feel like I'm actually doing like dumbbells. I get the same feeling of pumping my arms as if I were doing dumbbells and curling, but I've got nothing in my hands. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel the pump of my arms and I feel like if they're working out, but I'm a little bit, you know, shocked that I'm not even using any kind of resistance. It's just doing it by the blow. That's the beauty of katsu is that you don't need weights. You don't need heavy weight. You don't really need a whole lot of anything, right. but your muscles are working. Right. Well, I noticed the older I've gotten, the less weight I use to begin with, you know, to work out, but I don't feel the pump anymore. I don't feel it as much as I did when I was younger. Yeah. Now you're on your eighth cycle. From here, you can repeat the cycle if you like. You can step it up a notch and go from the low to the next step up higher, or you can go to the legs. You want to start with the arms first. That warms up your body, that gets your body used to the feeling that Katsu is going to provide your body. So start with the arms and then go to the legs. After you're done with the arms, you hit the power button and that'll take you out of the cycle mode. Or once the cycle is finished, it will automatically cut off and release the pressure from the bands. After that, you want to go ahead and take the bands off. So it's simply undoing the Velcro, sliding out of the clip, and pulling it off. There you go. That's it. Not too bad, right? Quick day at the gym. That's right, that's all you gotta do. Okay, quick arm workout. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do this to yourself. 